Welcome back to another edition of Eat My Shorts right here in the Ranton Chair. Smoke your filthy tube of doom and place the lucky strike. Sorting the world's problems out. Uh, this isn't going to be an educational video, but you two, you know, people that watch this stuff on the internet might get some enjoyment out of this or at least understand my pain. I'm not exactly known for being very kind or untoward or um, helpful in any regard for most people that are related to me. Um, I fully embrace that because I have problems. However, for my family, you know, that I love, and for my friends here on the internet, I will bend over backwards and uh, do anything I can and want to, whether you like it or not. Uh, shout out to ghetto birds. Um, I've been trying to calm down for the last half hour, 45 minutes. It's actually been about an hour now. So, transferring mom into the home today. She's going to be going at 3.15. We knew this. We planned this. It's going to happen. That's why I'm farting around at home, listening to the ghetto birds chirp in the background, right? We all love living in the ghetto, in the ghetto. And uh, I've been mellowing out. Well, my mama called me. And have you ever heard the cry that Eric Cartman did when he was upset? You know, ee! you know, only like, a, a, like what I can only describe as uh, the equivalent of the, the real version of an Aztec death whistle. Um, my mother called me shrieking and crying, and I had to calm her down. I said, Mommy, what's the matter? What, what, what's going on? I said, I don't know what's going on. I'm confused, and I'm scared. And your sister yelled at me and told me to stop it. And I got her calmed down. Everything's okay. Now, it turns out that, that what they said they were going to do today is they were going to be up there to keep her calm before she goes to the home, right? And they're going to make sure that she's got everything she's need. Well... Keep in mind, I've not been allowed to go up there because of COVID protocols of two visitors per day. Well, I've not been going because mom and aunt makes two visitors, right? Although if you're going by sheer tonnage here, right, uh, they're definitely in the um, destroyer class or bigger, okay? Uh, I'm not being mean today. I'm just being truthful, right? Anybody that's got an ass six axe handles across and takes two chairs to sit down isn't exactly what you call in the best of shape. I'm actually the smallest in my family, believe it or not, uh, as far as sheer tonnage goes, you know. I'm only a dinghy or a tugboat, you know, and when they're frigates and destroyers and like a Yamamoto class, you know. I promise there's a point in the story. Now, my sister and I have agreed to kind of put our blood feud on hold, right? We, we've decided not to bury the hatchet inside of each other, but to put the hatchet on hold until after Mama's gone and then we can stand out in the yard wherever the yard is, and at high noon, slap irons at seven yards and see who's going to win. That's the only way we're going to solve this problem. So, we were all on the same page about everything. So my mama called me scared and terrified, and I had to calm her down, because, I mean, she had the social worker worried, the doctor worried. Like, oh, sweetie, what's the matter? Can we get anybody on the telephone for you to get you calmed down? It's like, my son, you can find my son's number. Well, they knew my name because I've screamed at doctors and nurses at this hospital through the phone because I cannot physically be there in person without. Well, let's put it this way. If, if something were happening to my mother right now, there is not hell nor high water that keep me out of that hospital. But until that point comes, I'm not willing to risk the death penalty. Okay. Because rest assured, when I get done in there, I will probably be going up for the firing squad. I'm, I'm glad Idaho's not going to be a lethal injection state much longer. Now, my sister called after. When I got mom called down, I'm like, hey, what's going on? Because I didn't scream at her. Okay, I know what you're going to say. You, if you're at home, you're like, Joe, oh my God, you screamed at your sister. You called her the fat pig fucker at six in the morning when she squats. I have not yet. I was calm. I was rational. She's like, oh, mommy was freaking out and I didn't know what to do. So I yelled at her to try and snap her out of it. And then she started crying. It's like, I'll deal with this. We'll have a chat later. And my sister got that scared tone in her voice. Like, what do you mean? We'll have a chat later. So I'll talk to you later when we get things settled with mom. And I didn't scream at her. And usually in those situations, I scream at her, but I was quiet. And uh, those of you that know what the voice of death is like, the voice of death is like, I'm not going to fucking put up with your shit. I'm going to fucking kill you. That's not the voice of death. The voice of death is, get right with Jesus. You're going to need it. 
Um, I've decided um, I'm going to calmly pull her aside. And I'm going to say, look, I know you lashed out. I understand you're a lot of stress, but here's the thing. She's old. She's not going to be with us much longer. If you ever make her cry like that again, I'm not going to talk to you. I'm not going to confront you. I'm not going to yell at you. But you better get right with Jesus. And, you know, people say, well, is that? Is that a threat? And I'm like, no, there's no threat involved. I'm just saying, like, you better get right with Jesus if you're going to do shit like that to my elderly mama that way. Like, it would be one thing if she was trying to stick a fork in the light socket and you have to stop her. Okay, I understand that. That's called forced majeure, right? Things happen, right? I used to have to yell at my dad sometimes to get compliance when he was doing something outright dangerous and foolish when he had dementia. <laughs> it's picking the route of less harm. But my sister wasn't even in the room with her, okay? And my sister just yelled at her on the phone when my mom started repeating herself scared and made her fucking cry. And I've never heard her cry like that in 35 years I've been on this miserable fucking planet. And I'm going to calmly tell her that if you ever do this again, we're never going to have another talk about this again. You just better get right with Jesus. I don't know if she believes in Jesus or not. Uh, it would be very smart of her to get saved and right with the Lord at this point. Because I have about two hours until I go up to that hospital, well, the nursing home from the hospital, and see my mother. And if I find one bruise on my mother that wasn't there when she left this house that didn't come from a transfer, if I find one scratch, if I find one hair out of place on her sweet, senile little old head, I'm going to need you, the viewer at home, to at least put in a good word with the judge or at least put some money on my books. Because I know that in the state I live in today, the things that I'm probably going to fly off the handle and do, I can't plead insanity for, okay? There probably won't be a sympathetic judge to my cause. There won't be anything I can do in the way of a plea. Because, like I said, I am very extreme when it comes to things like that. Like, pissing with my mother is pissing with me. And pissing with me is a good way to end up dead, and it's not going to be slow. You know, like, I figured I'd have about 40 years to sit around on death row before they finally do something about it. Because of my ink and my prior affiliations, it's probably a hate crime, even if it's against family. But I'm not going to put up with that. I draw the line in the sand that way. It's one thing, okay, if you're there in the room with her and she's doing something dangerous and stupid, you need her to stop. I can understand that. I don't condone it, but I can understand it. You know, like life has happenstance. I, I Trust me, I can be reasonable sometimes. But when I'm on the phone for 10, 15 minutes with my dear sweet mother and she's crying and scared, wanting to know why she can't come home and why my sister yelled at her and called her names like, my inner grizzly bear has been poked and I'm fucking heartbroken because like I have to play nice with my sister in order to see my mom because I'm not the power of attorney in this situation. However, I do have the right to stick up for my mother that way. And I do have the right to defend her. If something's going to hurt her or harm her and it's in my immediate realm of control, I'm well within my rights to stop it. So I'm going to nip this in the bud and I'm going to do it the nice way first. I am taking the scalping knife with me just in case I need it. But I'm not fucking amused. Nobody should have to wake up and have to deal with this shit. And I've not been sleeping well either. But wish me luck. Uh, prayers for my mother, like I said. Uh, I'm about desperate enough today to, like, just not be here mentally that I'm about ready to water down the Germex and see if it's actually drinkable or not. To see if I can catch a buzz from it. Like, that's, that's how bad of a day I'm having right now. And I'm scared. I'm scared because I can't do anything to stop it. But but mark my words, it is the last time I ever hear my mom cry like that. Because, you know what? Even when I was a fucking piece of shit and a scumbag, I never made her fucking upset like that. Ever. Not one time. I always was good to my mom and dad. And I was good to the other relatives, even though they weren't cool to me. And for her to do that, 
I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm definitely going to have to do some thinking and some cigarette smoking on this one to try and mellow out. But as always, I have to get ready and get things done. Uh, if you like the video, like the video. You don't, I don't really care. You know, hashtag justice for mama. Because uh, there may be a time when I'm recording these from a fucking 6x8 cell. You know, with a smuggled cell phone. As the way today is going, I don't know.